We just had the most fantastic Bitcoin Wednesday evening with fantastic speaker. And the um, sponsor was NXT. And I have David Pierce here, who is one of the people involved with uh, NXT. And I'm going to ask, what is NXT? Okay, NXT is a second generation cryptocurrency or blockchain platform. We're basically one of the pioneers of blockchain technology. We launched approximately uh, two and a half years ago. And since then, we started, since our blockchain launched, we've built up various features, including cryptocurrency, decentralized asset exchange, messaging, the ability to issue tokens, for example, like Bitcoin's um, colored coins protocol. We've developed a fairly comprehensive ecosystem and quite a lot of projects have actually split off from the main next system. Okay, so, now, so we have about 20 different cryptocurrencies which are known and they are one of them. Yep. And so you started two and a half years ago, that's why not too many people outside the inside people know yep, you. You're second generation, what does that mean? It means that Bitcoin has got three basic functionalities. You can use it to securely create tokens, you can use it to move these tokens, and you can use it to store these tokens. That is it. There are no other functionalities within Bitcoin whatsoever, apart from a tiny bit of the ability to send a message when you ask somebody for money. But beyond that, not very much. Yeah. After a couple of years of Bitcoin operation, around about 2012, 2013, people started to realize that you could use the blockchain for more than simply sending out financial data about these tokens that you've created. Yeah. And the main ways in which you can use the blockchain for extra functionality is either by embedding data in it, for example, with messaging or other applications, or by creating your own customizable tokens and allowing these to run on the blockchain secured by the system itself. Yeah. So once you've got these two sort of basic extra functionalities, data transfer and token creation, you can then build a hell of a lot of other applications on top of your system. Yeah. So you don't need smart contracts anymore. You can basically uh, use it for all kinds of other. Because uh, give me a couple of things you can do with your platform. Well, one project we've got running at the moment is a thing called Notify Me, which is actually a document sharing application. Basically, the document is taken, hashed, encoded into the blockchain with a set timestamp. And this then allows collaborators to actually access the document and access versions of that document dating back in time with a complete revision history of the document actually stored on the blockchain. Hooray! My old habit, my old love, document yep. management yes. securely in the blockchain. Yep. But now a couple of, do a couple of sentences, like 10 more applications yep. you can do with it. You can use it for encrypted messaging services. You okay. can, for example, if I want to send you a very, very secret message, for example, yep. the passphrase to an account, I can actually take that data encrypt it using the basic encoding algorithm of NXT and then send it to you along the blockchain. You can access this message and it's public but the content is the, the, the content totally is, is public totally and totally readable to anybody but it's encrypted. Yeah. So only you and I can actually read the message that we've sent between us. Okay. What about privacy? I mean you can do a lot of things with this. Uh, what about the whole thing about privacy that all the transactions are public? Now there's an interesting question. The way the NXT blockchain is designed, and also the Bitcoin blockchain, is that everything, everything that happens on the blockchain is completely and totally open. Yeah. So you can trace the course of a single individual NXT or individual Bitcoin on its journey from me to you to your, shall we say, hemp supplier, yeah. or all over the place. It okay. can go just so anywhere. it's just not known who is... It's not known who you are. It, it is. Both systems are pseudonymous. Yeah. You don't know the real identity of the account. Obviously, there are going to be ways for you to pin a real identity on account. And with but it works basically the same thing as Buckley. A yeah, couple of other more questions. Uh, how many nodes are there in the network? At the moment, off the top of my head, around about 250 to 300 running nodes at any one time. Over the whole, in all around the world? All around the world. And okay. about two to 3,000 nodes that participate on a part-time basis. Okay. How many people are using it? Very good question. Um, I would guess somewhere between five to 10,000. So okay. Total value of all the NXTs? At the moment, seven million if you count them all up. Okay. What is the NXT Foundation? We are the contact point for NXT. 
with a decentralized organization like NXT or Bitcoin, it's pretty hard for a business to think, hey, hang on a minute, I'd like to work with these guys, but how do I do it? Yeah. With the NXT Foundation, or to a lesser extent with the Bitcoin Foundation, you knock on their door and you say, uh, excuse me, I'd like to do something with your system, could you help me out? That's basically what we are, business contact point. Okay. If you want any questions, come in on and ask us. Core development team and the foundation, you're talking about 10 people? Uh, yes, probably Based in Amsterdam? Mm -hmm. foundation, foundation is based in Amsterdam, more or less. The development team is here, there and everywhere. Okay. So there you have it. This was the uh, Bitcoin Wednesday sponsor, which actually is the <laughs> NXT, which is really interesting. It is, and now it? you know, and now you know, now you cannot ever say again that you do not know what NXT it is. Thank you very much.